Keeping up with Emily. Duck and Emily are working together to clear the line from Titmer to Natford. Duck was going slowly as the tracks were icy, but Emily thought he was working too slowly. Hurry up! She snorted. Earlier, the fat controller told all the engines about whoever finished their jobs first would get to pull the presence train in the evening. Emily hoped she would be chosen for it. She was thinking so much about it that she didn't notice that the tracks were very icy. Emily's wheels began to slid and slide. Whoa! She cried. She was going faster and faster. Yippee! Called Emily. She was starting to enjoy herself. She was sliding so fast that she slid all the way to Natford. After clearing the tracks, Emily and Duck had to take some coal trucks to the coaling plant. Emily was waiting for Duck. She listened to the choir and watched all the colourful decorations being put up. Emily wanted to pull the presence train more than ever. Finally, Duck puffed in. Trusting a Great Western engine to be late. I'm sorry, Emily. I had to go slowly and take care. Slow engines won't get to pull the presence train, snorted Emily. Now come along, Duck, couple behind and let's go. Emily raced to the coaling plant as fast as she could. Must be first, must be first, she puffed. They reached a slope. The tracks were icy and Emily started to speed up. Duck was not happy. Emily's wheel started to slip and slide. Whee! she cried. This is the way to get the job done fast. Emily thought it was the best slide ever. At the coaling plant, Duck and Oliver's trucks were being filled with coal. Duck called to Emily. You must slow down and take care. I am taking care. Taking care to finish first. I'm going to pull the presence train, replied Emily, and they puffed away. They headed for Brendan Docks. The tracks leading to there are more icier than the rest of the tracks. Once Emily reached the spot, her wheels started to slip and slide. It was not smooth, it was rough, and she was going much too fast. Oh my, she cried, and she applied her brakes as hard as she could. Duck tried to brake as well, but it was too late. Emily crashed herself into the snow. The fat controller arrived along with Harvey and the breakdown train. He was very cross. Emily and Duck, the tracks were icy and you are not taking care. Emily felt bad. Duck wanted me to slow down, but I want to finish first so that I can pull the presence train. You won't, you won't be pulling that now, Emily, said the fat controller. Duck, you are a reliable engine. You can pull the present train, but you can't pull it alone as it is a very long and heavy train. Sir, called Emily, if I promise to go slowly and take care, can I be Duck's back engine? The fat controller was not sure, but only if you can puff slowly and carefully. Emily felt pleased. Duck, I will learn to take care just like you. Emily was back on track and she and Duck continue on their cold delivery to the docks, where they collected the presence train, and they set off carefully for Natford. Whenever they came to some icy track, Duck called out, Slow down, and Emily slowed down. And when they approached some bends down a slope, Duck called out, Apply your brakes, Emily, and Emily did. The children cheered when they saw their presence as Duck and Emily pulled into Natford Station slowly and safely. We did a good job together, said Duck. Indeed, said Emily. We are both really useful and safe engines. Duck had to agree.